Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is a PS5 video. Uh, I'm really excited to do this. So there's this brand called ID Sonics and they reached out to me recently. So they've recently launched this new M2 SSD. So they're like a tech company. They do all these PC accessories and all these type of uh, storage devices and all that. They're available on Amazon. They reached out to me and they wanted to send me this new 1TB uh, SSD, which is an M2 SSD. This is the uh, package. M2 SSDs are like really, really small. You know, I got this PS5 like last year and uh, I think so far I've only got one game in a physical disc even though I have like a physical version of PS5 I mean you know you, you just get better offers on the PlayStation Store and uh, you know it's just easier even though if you buy a disc you have to download another 90 to 100 gigs you know online so it doesn't really matter except for collecting those discs so I think uh, storage is pretty important for PS5 and PS5 only has like around 840 gigs they do have a you know m2 slot inside so we can expand the storage i think this would be a good product so let's see uh, how this is it's uh, one tb id sonics nvme m2 ssd it has a read speed up of, of like 7000 mb per second we're going to test you know once we open this install this but i'm not sure if this is also compatible with pcs and it doesn't actually say that this is for ps5 yeah i think it's just a standard uh, m2 ssd you can use this for pc too they're available on amazon i'll put the link down in the description let's go ahead and open this and uh, let's see i mean we have seen a m2 ssd you guys would have seen it it's not a huge deal if you guys have a pc obviously you will know what else do they have they just have a very very small screw so this is the m2 really really small let's not touch this and this is the uh, heat sink which we have you actually put the uh, m2 inside so this part comes on top like this and then they I, I think there will be a gap so we have to place these strips in these gaps so that will basically absorb the uh, heat and then we also put one on this side and then we close it like this i have installed m2 before like on a pc but I haven't done it on a PS5. I'm gonna first put one on this. I think that's good. Does this cover? Okay, so it doesn't even cover the edge, so it doesn't matter. Then I put that on this. Yeah, the film is done, so remove the other one now. We put this on top of that, and then this goes on top. That's it. This is the SSD, guys. So we install the uh, heatsink. I'm gonna open up my PS5. So let's make some space to like actually install. We need to keep it this way. So I need to remove this to actually remove this cover. So open it just like that. So we need to remove the uh, bottom stand. The PS5 uh, is on one side, like the logo. It has to go down. Basically the back side of the PS5 sh should face you. And then you can just uh, lift it this way. It was so hard, but then it just popped off and fell down, but it's okay. So this is basically the slot. I think the screw should work for this. So we remove that. This actually has like, you know, different lengths. So, you know, I think different SSD have different lengths. You know, it depends on how we place it. We have the point there. So I'm just gonna slowly place this. We have a problem here. These clamps here. I'm not able to like place it in because these things stick out. You can install this without a heatsink. But the reason is if you're gonna use this SSD, you know, to like game often, you know, and store all these things, you know, it has to transfer heat somewhere. So that's why we actually use uh, heatsink. The heat pads and heatsink is basically to transfer it to the console and you know transfer the heat out outside so that the SSD doesn't overheat. I'm gonna just keep the top part and I'm just gonna put the silicone pad alone at the bottom. I think that's good. We can just install it like this. So I think it'll transfer heat. I'm just going to try and uh, put this at the end there. Yes, we are going to press this now and then basically put it in place. So yeah, that is in place now. So yeah, that's done. We can just uh, put this back now. I think that's good. We can put this back now. That's it. I think I installed it properly. So it's my first time, but it's okay. Uh, we'll go and test this now. So guys, I turned on the uh, PS5 and uh, immediately says uh, M2 SSD storage. To use it, you need to reformat it. So when you reformat it, all data will be 
delete it on it because we're using a new one so it's not a problem for us i'm gonna format that read speed is uh, 6485 mb per second they say it's 7000 but yeah it gives like 6485 which is like okay it has been formatted so to change where your games are installed you have to go to settings storage and installation location so i think it's, it's it's pretty much done let's just go inside and see like how much storage we have we have installed like 2 tv now so system i mean settings storage console storage is 667 gb so that i think i think then the total storage is 840 gb here we have it actually gives us like 1.03 tb but how is that possible usually like if it's 1 tb it gives us like 900 or 940 something or something like that you know we always have that loss we just go to storage and then installation location and then we go to ps5 and then we just put m2 ssd so i think that's what we can do so guys uh, that's pretty much it and uh, i think it was a new experience for me to like install a m2 uh, inside a ps5 i haven't done that before but yeah it was a new experience and uh, i think the ssd works well yeah we do get like good read speeds so like 7000 it's not 7000 exactly but at least like 6500 so close to like what they're claiming first impression and showing you guys like how to install this and you know expand your gaming storage that's pretty much it and thank you id sonics for sponsoring the video and uh, i'll see you guys with another product or another uh, tool in the next video uh, till then it's money for saying guys. Bye.